Hey there, good evening everybody. My name is Dirk Rustov and I'm a real alcoholic guy. My Facebook page is Delirium Dirk at Facebook. And uh, we also have on the YouTube an additional site that's, uh, that's called Scared Sober Dash Delirium Tremens. So you can uh, catch up with us over there uh, if you want the full story of uh, Delirium Tremens. Now, we're gonna talk tonight specifically about shadow people top hat man and what I also refer to as the uh, shrouded creature. Um, these things are very, very real and very fucked up. Uh, and I'm going to just kind of lay the, uh, the premise of what happened. I, um, this was about uh, 10 years ago and I had ceased drinking alcohol immediately. Um, understand this if you're not familiar with alcoholism. Uh, there's only two withdrawals that will kill you, that will absolutely kill you. Uh, one is uh, benzodiazepines, and the second is withdrawal from alcohol. So, uh, and I had no idea, by the way. I've been drinking for three and a half decades at this point, and I've never suffered anything remotely close. And um, when I ceased drinking, I just, I went into full-on, full-blown hallucinations. It lasted four days. Um, and uh, again, in detail on uh, YouTube, Scared Sober dash Delirium Tremens, and our website, uh, the www.scaredsober.org. I have the entire story written out. It's, I mean, it's over 30,000 words. It's pretty fucked up. So if you found this interesting or this site interesting uh, and you want to read more about it, I got news for you. You will not see anything like this on the internet. It is mind boggling. And the reason you don't see anything is most people die. So I was just one of them that didn't. Uh, so I'm going to talk specifically about shadow people real quick. There's a poem also posted on, on our site here um, that I wrote about five years after this happened. And I can still remember it today just as absolutely vivid as, as I can the night it happened. Um, the shadow people appeared to me after my second day of being in, in delirium tremens. And again, that's a medical condition. It's basically your body shutting down. and. Uh, it, the hallucinations that I experienced, the only way I can like accurately describe them is it's like taking 20 hits of LSD and not knowing you took them. Uh, it was unfucking believable But the shadow people, the shadow people were a experience that I've never had remotely close, nothing like it. I don't believe in that shit. I wouldn't have bought it in a heartbeat. I would have said, you're full of shit. Um, I'm not into paranormal, da 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 da. Uh, I got news for you. As real as I am sitting here. Um, so I'm going to kind of start with the uh, second night and just give you the cliff notes. Um, with the, uh, by the time I was in the day, day two of this experience, I was hearing, I'd already gone through a phase with uh, ambulatory auditory hallucinations where you hear things that aren't there. It's like a, almost like a vibration. Um, I had sensed that I was not alone in my apartment and uh, there were there were ghosts, wisps rather, in my peripheral vision where I would see like a white cloud or a little something moving. I'd turn real quick and it would just be gone. And then I'd see it over here and I'd turn just, just missing it behind my back. It got so real that uh, there was a point where I was seated, on, I was sitting on my bed and I could feel a child's footsteps on the bed behind me. I could feel the weight of a child. I knew it was someone small, so I'm assuming it was a child. And I turned around to catch him, and I, again, just missed it, but the imprints from the, the footsteps were in the comforter, slowly rising. And uh, it, it, it was, it scared the living shit out of me. And that was just prior to uh, when I saw the shadow people followed by the top hat man, or as I refer to him uh, in my story as the cowboy. Uh, and then what I saw after that was uh, a shrouded creature or a grim reaper of sort. And uh, I'll tell you about that in depth. So let me tell you how it, how it began specifically with the shadow people. Uh, I was laying in a bedroom. I had a, uh, a one bedroom apartment. I had a doorway open at the um, base of my bed into a small living room. And there was a, a, like a blue overstuffed chair that I could see from my bed. Now, uh, next to the blue chair, I had uh, half a dozen empty <clears throat> bottles of Ice House beer um, left over that were just lined up alongside of the, uh, the chair. Now remember, I had ceased drinking about 48 hours prior to this. So I was laying in bed, I could not sleep. Um, when I could not off a little bit, I would have very vivid dreams. And 
I, I woke from it uh, and I was laying in bed and I got the, a strong sensation that I was not alone. Now, please understand this. I was not in sleep paralysis at this point. Um, there would be periods of that but, uh, or similar to it, but at no point was I in sleep paralysis. Uh, when I first began to see the shadow people, it started again in my peripheral vision. I, um, uh, I saw a small cherub, like a, like a winged cherub, uh, very small, maybe uh, two and a half feet tall. And uh, the cherub was sitting up in a uh, little enclave I had that for where a television would sit in the wall and I had no TV there. And the cherub was, was there and I turned to look at it and it would vanish. Then to my, to my left, I had my doorway uh, exiting the room. I could see a silhouette in the doorway of, uh, and that was when I first saw the Top Hat Man. It was, a, as I refer to him, the cowboy. Uh, and he was in my doorway and he was propped up. He had one foot up and he was holding a book and he had the, the it was more, more of a fedora than a cowboy hat. He had a book in his hand and he was staring down at the book. Um, he never said anything. Uh, then to his left, I could see a woman uh, in a long white ro uh, gown and blonde hair. And I just refer to her as the, the white robe lady or the, rather the white dress lady. So I would look at the white dress lady and she would vanish. I could see the top hat man. I could see the cherub. I'd turn my head and they would dissipate. And this went on for a, a, a number of hours. I have no concept of time, but I'm gonna guess probably three hours at, at the very least. And um, as the, uh, and I asked them, I even said out loud, I said, are you ghosts and are you evil? I was, I mean, I was really scared, but I couldn't move. I didn't dare move. I didn't dare get up. Uh, now through the doorway, the, the top hat man disappeared. He just dissipated as I looked at him and there was a form behind him next to the chair. And uh, when I looked at this form, it did not disappear. Uh, what it was, was a um, probably a four and a half foot tall. Uh, I call him again, the shrouded creature. It was a, 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 a black faced, uh, creature. He was wearing a long brown robe, almost like a monk's robe, and it went all the way down to his feet. His feet were covered, and his hands were, were out of the robe because I could see his hands. His skin was black, black, and uh, his fingernails were vibrant white. Um, now his face, and he was looking at me, looking directly at me, uh, his face was black, and when I say black, it was the blackest black I've ever seen. I can't even describe it. It was like, I mean, the depth of it, it, it was darker than any ink, darker than anything. And it was just, I mean, it was, it was frighteningly dark. Uh, now that being said, his eyes were glowing, bright, glowing eyes, glowing orange eyes. And it smiled at me and I could see his teeth. Uh, and it was looking directly at me. It then took its hand and it, it dangled its finger down and it raked its finger across the top of the half a dozen um, beer bottles, glass beer bottles that I had lined up and they actually clinked together. And uh, I, I couldn't move. I couldn't, I, I felt my chest was heavy. I, I mean, I was wide awake. That's the thing. I mean, I, I could hear myself speak. It was not a dream. Um, at any point was I asleep at this. It was just uh, it was, I mean, the hair on my arm is standing up as I'm telling you this, this is fucked up. Um, and he just stayed there and he raked his finger across the uh, beer bottles uh, three times. And he just stood there and smiling and glowing. And I knew, I did not know why he was there, but I knew without a doubt that wherever he came from was very bad. And if he wanted to take me somewhere, it was no place I wanted to go. And I knew that was the reason it was there. It scared the, it scared me to death. Um, I, I turn away and, and, and you know, gripping my covers, I'd look back, it's still there. Um, turn away the other, you know, grip my covers, look back, it's still there. He wouldn't dissipate, he wouldn't go away. He never came closer, he never moved, he never, you know, other than raking his hand. And he just kept looking through me. I mean, it was burning through me and uh, 
and I never, I never, I didn't know what shadow people were. I didn't know what the top hat man was. I'd never even heard of such things. I didn't even hear of that concept until almost eight years later. And when I'd, I'd heard about that, and then I started doing a little research, poking around online to see what was out there. And it's like, holy shit, you know, not only has this thing appeared to people for, for decades uh, in different forms, but I mean, going on hundreds of years. Um, this is not new, I'm not alone, I'm not the only one that's seen this, and I'm, and I'm not the only one that will see it again. What was his purpose? I don't know. To this day, I think it was, I mean, I was on the edge of death. That I do know, that's a fact. And I just pray, I pray to God I never see it again. Uh, I hope no one else experiences this, but I have a, I have a feeling that I'm not gonna be alone. So if you guys do have experience with this, I'd welcome your comments. Um, if, you, if you think I'm batshit crazy, you know, you can throw those comments in there. I really don't give a shit uh, because I'm simply relaying what happened to me and uh, it was mind boggling. Um, so again, if you want to read the whole thing, if you want to go, and I have videos of all four days of the, uh, of the delirium tremens, the shit that gets even crazier than that, big time. Uh, and again, it is a true story. It's a very real story. It's a very real part of my life and a uh, very real reason why I was able to uh, break the, the holds of those addictions too, but thank God. Um, so anyway, I appreciate the time. I hope you guys check it out and, uh, I look forward to your comments and share it with your friends if you find it of interest, okay? Thanks a lot. Look forward to it.